Hey YouTube, hope you're all doing good out there. I want to do a video, I talked about it on my last one, about doing a video talking about the van and how it, uh, how it worked for me for the RTR and really kind of how it's worked for me for the past four months. Let's talk about the bed. Two feet wide by 74 inches long. Um, I wasn't concerned about the length of it, but I was a little bit concerned when I built it about how the width was going to work for me being only it was only two feet wide and what I did is made it exactly half of the width of uh, my available space here in the back of the van and remember I have a, a a old sleeping bag with a three inch thick two foot wide piece of foam in it that I got off of Amazon for the mattress and then on top of that I have just a sleeping bag and I've had a blanket or two up here also because I've had the van out in some pretty cold temperatures over the course of the last four months. I've seen temperatures down to almost freezing up in the uh, Sitgraves National Forest in Arizona and some cool nights out there at the uh, RTR as well. But I'm proud to say that the bed has worked out fantastic. I, I really don't have any complaints. Uh, let's see that covers the bed as far as the refrigerator Again the uh, Dometic CF50 underneath the bed the refrigerator has worked out fine I've I really haven't had any issues other than what I mentioned before with uh, being inside this box on a hot day If I put a bunch of warm food in there or a six pack or a 12 pack of Pepsi or something like that That's warm and I'm trying to cool it down the refrigerator has to really work hard and, it, and the holes that I drilled in it aren't sufficient enough in that scenario to, uh, to let the warm air escape from this box. So the refrigerator has to work a lot harder. And what I've been doing is propping this up. And that seems to work fine, but it's kind of a pain. You know, i got to prop this up while it cools down and runs so that the warm air can escape. And it's even better if I prop this up and then open the side doors to let the air flow through here. Now some people had mentioned uh, putting in a 12-volt fan on the side of the box or something to help pull that air out of there, which is a good idea. But I have another solution in mind that I will probably be doing once I get, once I get back home and uh, through done with this trip to uh, basically I'm just going to move the refrigerator out of there. And the reason why is I had to build the bed the height that it is because of the height of the refrigerator or the how tall the refrigerator is and also the way I've got this built up holding this edge of the bed on top of the uh, fold up seat. So that's what determined the height of my bed was going to be. So one thing that I would like to do is remove the seat. I haven't even used it. Anyway, I ha I, I, I'm not done with the trip. I could use it before the trip's over with, but I haven't even used it. So it'd be nice to have that out of here. Then I could build a bracket, lower this end of the bed, and lower this box. I'm thinking maybe four inches or so, because for my height, if I sit up on the mattress with that three inch pad and then the, the uh, sleeping bag on top, it's just a little bit too tall. I do have plenty of headroom, that's not the issue. Uh, it's just a matter of if I sit on the bed, it's just too tall. So I'd like to bring it down about four inches or so. Get rid of the uh, seat and build a bracket to hold up this end of the bed, which would make it really, uh, would open up a lot of storage in this area. And then you can see in this, uh, in this tub back here, let me move this jacket. In this uh, plastic tub, basically I have all of my kitchen stuff in there. Uh, pots, pans, dishes, forks, knives, spoons, all that sort of thing. And that's worked out fine. I really don't need or use a lot of those types of items. But I just store them in that bucket and then, and then I sit on that and I can work off my computer set my computer up on the bed and just work like that or if I just want to sit down and read or watch a video or something like that or just lay in the bed 
but uh, that's how I've been using that. Now when I take the refrigerator out of the box and put it back here, maybe create some form of a table to go over the top of it, or just use it as a table, and then I can put most of these items in the box, or the items that I don't use very often. Like I could put almost all of those items, if not all of them, inside the uh, where the refrigerator is now, if I move that refrigerator out here. And then I could probably eliminate that container and just put some hooks in there to where I can hang up the pots and the pans and a little little small box for the dish uh, for the uh, silverware and stuff and clean that all up so all I would really have would be my refrigerator here um, easily accessible and then that way also on those warm days or when I'm running that refrigerator trying to cool food down or drinks I can open the back door and get airflow by that refrigerator and help it cool. Anyway, that's my thought. And then at the same time, I can bring this bed down and make it more comfortable to sit on the bed and, uh, and reach the floor with my feet. So... <laughs>